お前はもう死んでいる何<笑>こちら 2B。9S is an S rank sport construct that deals physical damage and features healing, agile abilities, and cooldown reduction. And in this video, I'll cover skills, passives, ascensions, playstyle, builds, and weapons. And for my team position, rotation, and near pull recommendations, it's already covered in the A2 video, so I won't be covering them here. And as usual, if you want to see a specific topic, timestamps are provided. Going through his kit, Ninus' basic attack string deals physical damage from a short range, and holding down the dodge and moving the joystick allows Ninus to sprint, and attacking while sprinting will stagger enemies with a short range physical attack. And Ninus does not generate orbs by basic attacking like other constructs, but instead must wait every 2.5 seconds for orbs to automatically regenerate at random. And Ninus' QTE heals the active character based on his attack. Going through his orb abilities, his red orb fires a ranged laser that deals physical damage, and this animation can be cancelled by dashing. His blue orb drops a ring that spreads, dealing physical damage to enemies hit, and allies hit by the ring are instead healed based on 9S's attack. And once again, the animation can be cancelled by dashing. His yellow orb deploys a field that briefly slows enemies, dealing physical damage. Once again, 9S can dash cancel the cast animation. His core passive is indicated by the sword gauge at the bottom of the screen, and basically, when performing 3 orb or matrix pings, 9S will consume half the gauge to create a core passive orb, and the sword gauge automatically refills. This core passive orb consumes all of the same color orb and fires a storm of projectiles dealing physical damage, while refunding a random amount of orbs back if it consumes more than 3. But most importantly, each core passive orb reduces the swap cooldown of the next character by 1 second for each core passive orb expended, up to 4 seconds, and this is also his swap and attack. And Ninus' ultimate hacks an enemy just like in the Nier Automata game and deals a physical damage nuke after he clears all the blocks and you can turn off this minigame in the skills menu and just do damage instead. As for his leader passive, when 2B and A2 are on the team, gain increased physical damage and the team takes 10% less damage. And as for his ascensions, at double S, he gains one extra core passive orb when deployed on field and can hold one more. But more importantly, Ninus' QTE and blue orb will give A2 and 2B 10% increased physical damage for a brief period. At triple S, the orb generation speed is increased and the core passive orb damage is also increased, and the physical damage buff of his blue and core passive orb is doubled from 10 to 20%, and its duration is also increased. And finally, at triple S plus, 9S has a little bit of invulnerability when casting its core passive orb, and the team also gains 10% physical damage, which is 20% because you're running it with Nier. And for most players, S rank is usually enough for 9S, although whales can look into getting another copy of 9S to get some damage buffs for 2B and A2 with his double S and triple S passives. And as for 9S's builds, he'll be the dedicated 4-piece Da Vinci holder for the Nier team, and as for the 2-set, two 2-piece two Philip will be ideal. And Resonance and Hypertune are not a priority since he's a Da Vinci holder 100% of the time, but I'll leave it up on the screen if you do decide to go for it. And I've already covered the example rotation in my A2 guide, where 2B and 9S are used to proc A2's QTE and cover A2's downtime before swapping back to her, or if you have triple S solo carry A2, then you just stay on A2. But 9S really shouldn't be taking much field time in both playstyles due to his orbs only generating over time, so staying on him without orbs is just a waste. And ideally, he swapped in last in the rotation to quickly spam 3 orb or matrix pings, and then the core passive orbs to follow up to reduce the swap cooldowns. But his ultimate is a pretty useful nuke. And as with all near units, they come with their own 5 star weapon for free, so this is great for free to play or light spenders who don't plan to whale. As for the whales, his signature weapon helps ease the swap cooldowns even further, making A2's Berserk form uptime off-field a lot easier. And again, refer to the near pull guide in the A2 video for priority of pulls. And I feel like someone's gonna ask, so I'll just address it here, 9S cannot use pre-existing swords in the game, so stuff like the Kuchi no Sada will not work on him. And for whales planning to resonate his weapon, prioritize the two attack buffs first, and then Matrix Lightning. 9S is a game for free by logging in, so definitely build him up so your near team can function. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 9S is fairly simple, he's kinda just a 3 orbs go brrrr kinda character. So if there's any updates or corrections, I'll leave in a pinned comment down below. 
Be sure to check out the community post regarding near poll recommendations if you have any questions. If you have any further questions, drop in the comments or join the Discord at discord.io slash and I'll try to respond if I'm not busy. The next video, I'll finally cover my girl 2B, so subscribe so you don't miss future guys and videos. And if you find this video informative, drop a like. I dislike if you didn't. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace late.